And she is coming off a game with 12 points and seven rebounds against William and Mary as the tip. Oklahoma has the first possession of the game. They've got a freshman in the starting lineup. A lot of new faces for Oklahoma after losing three all Big 12 players and another starter to injury. Virginia pushing a lot of new faces for Virginia as well. That's, Brooke, that's kind of the way it is in women's basketball this year. It's the game these days. I mean, you're always looking at eight, nine uh, new players as Oklahoma gives you a taste. Lexi Keys. Here's the starting lineup for Virginia. Jillian, J.J. Brown coming off a great game. Kamora Johnson, a terrific freshman. Alexia Smith and Clarkson. And let's take a look at that again. Okay, right away. You can see the objectives to get there. Here's the starting lineup for Oklahoma. Nevaeh Tott, that only returning starter for Oklahoma. Verholst, Keys, Van, and the freshman, Sahara Williams, in the lineup. She previously was at Drake. Coach Mox was previously at Missouri State, both in the Missouri Valley, so that's how they know one another. Oklahoma on the run. Nevea Tott on the baseline. Little teardrop gets it to go. And Virginia right back into the fast break, but the way that Oklahoma led that break, the spacing and the finish, that tells you, Brenda, how efficient they're being on offense. That's a great shot selection. Going off, you could hear her scream through the screen, and one <laughs> when she hit that bucket. And it's so great to see her and Paris Clark back. I'm not scared. That was Skylar Van, two times sixth player of the year in the Big 12, now in the starting lineup this year. And in you saw a good look at Coach Mox in her second season. What a great year she had in her first year, tripling the number of victories for Virginia, but a turnover. Out to Aubrey Jones into the game for Oklahoma. And just like that's how quickly Oklahoma <laughs> wants to score. Right. It's a new, new concept. But let me tell you why it's so dangerous. Raina Scott, sorry, Brenda. Raina Scott being in there so defensive and disruptive. Her finding Aubrey Jones, they work really well together in the transition. And there she is again, passing it up ahead. This uh -oh. time it's Whoa. Lexi Keys for the three. And Coach Mox is going to call a timeout. The 25th ranked Oklahoma Sooners off to a fast start. Lexi Keys already with a couple of three pointers and Brooke nine fast. How dangerous they can be because everybody on that floor has a scoring mindset. Not just shooting, but scoring, right? Maybe setting up by a great pass or moving without the ball. And just to give you an idea of how fast paced this game has been, in the first five minutes, there have already been 27 possessions. They usually get that by the end of the first quarter into the second quarter at least. Well, and we knew from both these coaches this is the style of play that they want. It's really in Oklahoma's wheelhouse, but it's what the three-pointer there, and they have to be careful here in the early going not to shoot themselves out of it. Scott with the jumper in the lane. Slow things down or run a few sets. Let's see how that shakes things up. Yanta Vaughn using the screen. Injured her knee January 8th, and great to see Lawson back in the game. And it was funny to hear Coach Mox talk about, yes, the new players, they they just saw her play, and they're like, wow. Until the last week or so. So there's a lot of learning as we look back at that. Uh, you know, one thing that you can do and make plays throughout the game is, is read and react. Right? The give and goes, or hey, this is just like that. Sam Brunel making improvisations mid-play there with a nice finish to the left hand spots and coach Mox talked about what a great teammate she is and wants to be and I hope Sam Brunel I hope she's she plays as long as she wants and sticks in the game of basketball because we need her yeah her energy is contagious what a nice rim yeah. run there uh, one of those very talented freshmen McGee when you guard against a fast break you got to look for those rebounds a little jelly for McGee to go away and then when she got to meet Coach Mox, decided she was going to stay and be a part of this program. It's awesome to hear how how important that is, too. To, yeah, great backdoor again. The, the layup and the spacing for Oklahoma, successful. But can't save it, and Oklahoma will be off to the races. Three on two for Oklahoma, out to Tot. Too strong. And the freshman Johnson setting things up. Using the screen, out top splashes at home. There's about a two-second 
difference between the shot clock and game clock. Skylar Van banks it home, and she's fouled in the paint. Big 12's only two times sixth player of the year. Going body to body, finding some space to try to score. Nice dish off, but blocked in the paint. What a block for Kennedy Tucker to snuff that opportunity. The motto is grind now, shine later. Progress being a process. It's it's about being real. And as the shot clock runs down, Oklahoma going to get one off the take a meeting with either coach. Top of the key and Virginia still struggling from three-point range. And able to, to help themselves plenty on the offensive mm -hmm. glass. And Colton with her size at 6'3 and disrupting in the paint. That's a good defensive substitution. Oklahoma. Johnson. Yep. Oklahoma said, you got to beat us from the outside. And Brunel. You heard how hard that ball sounded when Sahara Williams grabbed the rebound? It was like, bang, <laughs> lead to a three. Another three-point. Oklahoma, their biggest lead of the game. Look, usually the basketball guys give you one. There is the one that Virginia needed, perhaps, to start opening the floodgates for them on this Sunday. And Oklahoma's getting two bank shots from threes. That's, that's pretty unique now. That one too far for Lexi Keys. It was Caden Lawson on the other end who hit the three-pointer the first for the Cavaliers. They're one of 11 from distance here in the early going. Brunel, back iron. See the speed and, and pace of this game maybe starting to affect players just a little bit as they're settling in. Now we're seeing the physicality of this league take shape. Right back into the action. Mm -hmm. 18 starts last season. She said, I, I remember what it feels like to be out here. I welcome this. And Brunel, once again on the floor, always making the diving plays. Okay, pass. Fancy oh, assist for Verholst not available for the team at the right time. It's about decision making. And sometimes like, hey, just go out and get a bucket. You'll see. Verholst over to Van, and that sets up another three-pointer. Oklahoma. Not able to hold her off and draw the foul here. Drive and dish, you draw the defense in, and that will open up. That Spinning, Taylor, no. Tries to keep it alive, the battle. Sam Brunel, too long, and Virginia hasn't. You see, like, some shots were hit. There was a lot of finesse in that first part of the game, so this is where it gets physical. Conference play is a new animal. March is a whole nother beast. But how about that? There's Peyton Verholz. We had talked about, you know, her game, how versatile she is. She's Perfect person to get it going for Oklahoma. She said, I see your scoring drought. I hear you announcers talking about us. <laughs> Johnson trying to go up underneath, and that one goes out of bounds. Oklahoma on an eight to nothing run right now. Make that 10 0. Aubrey Jones. Anytime you want to try to get back into a game for me, it always starts with defense with being vocal. And so because you have players, that's, mm -hmm. that's being physical and vocal, I like that as well. And, and being physical was the third part, right? So you have to be able to stop the fast break. Mm. Yo, that was a block and a half. So they get the inside, but they can't. McGee, 6'2", Culleton listed at 6'3". That was the play maybe Virginia needed. You just asked me what they need, right? Well, that's that will hype anybody up. Let's see how they flex on offense now, especially with a minute and a half left. Brown behind her back in traffic. Oh. Beautiful pass to set up Brunel. Gives life to her teammates. Brown with a great dish to Brunel. Mm -hmm. The senior able to connect. Top of the key, Williams. Aubrey Jones there to collect it. Maybe not the best shot for the freshman, but Jones cleans it up. Yeah. Under a minute to play here in Charlottesville in the first half. Oklahoma has back. led by as many as 19, but Virginia trying there with Brown. Can't get it to go. 
Jones. Now maybe an opportunity two for one for Virginia here before the half. That's what I'm thinking. And the goal was to try to stop that fast break at half court. So if you can see an orange uniform stop the white ball or white uniform around midcourt, that V, they're doing their job defensively. From the field, Oklahoma is led by Aubrey Jones with 12 points. A quick shot, great setup too with her footwork. And for Virginia, they have to do a better job of guarding that out of bounds. That was a one pass to a, a perfect shot for them. To get a um, I don't believe in the announcer jinx for teams that win or lose, but yes, I, for the free throw, I do. It's something about it. That's why I stay <laughs> quiet too. I was like, no, I'm not doing that to her. <laughs> see Johnson resetting the offense here. I like that. Not a lot available. You want to see a good screen. We'll slip there instead of the use of the screen. That'll lead to a shot. Caden Lawson making her first free throw. Well, our next All Access, the ACC Live, premieres tonight, highlighted by Notre Dame women's soccer, NC State men's soccer, and Louisville field hockey. You'll get pre uh, unprecedented access into the lives of the student athletes, coaches, staffs, parents, and fans, 6 Eastern, right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. She didn't hesitate. She literally took control of the ball, and she said, I'm just going to shoot it. Now three players in double figures for the Sooners. Good play from Olivia McGee on both ends of the court for Virginia. Yeah, that's been exciting to watch her in this game. On the inside, right, doing work with that big time block. Yeah, as we mentioned, you know, take the pace when you have it, and then go in for the power when you got it, because Cameron Taylor is going to give that to you. That foul was actually on Nevea Tot on the other end, and then Culleton missing the shot at the rim. Johnson back to McGee. Smith misses, wow. offensive rebound, and put back by Clarkson. Ball screen that led to the pull-up jumper and the offensive glass, good. For Virginia all day today, Clark. This is this is why the post players were of concern for Oklahoma because of plays like that, being able to, to take up that space coming in on the offensive glass, crashing it. She was 10 for 10 going to the line before Man. that. So we do have to take some of the blame for that, don't we? I guess just you know, being vocal is an underestimated talent in the game. It's like adding a whole nother player to yourself on defense. And she had that career high in their win over Ole Miss. Oh, defense there. Big time for yeah. Kirsten Johnson. Duncanville, Texas. And a timeout on the floor. Oklahoma. Johnson. Taylor straight away. Hey, hey. it's a single digit game. And she gets bumped off course, though. Floater, Johnson. It's a seven-point game. How big has Skylar Van been? Six boards to go along with all these threes she's knocking down. Kim Taylor, her timing is so good. And reading the offensive rebounds. Three-pointer again. Verholz missing that one. Because you're the one becoming more disciplined as the game's going on. I think Oklahoma mm -hmm. can feel that. Uh -oh. Strong cam to the basket. Great read to get the ball to a cutting Clarkson. Double high ball screen. Yeah, give me that. And I exaggerated saying 80 on the road at almost like 150 anywhere else. But it does feel <laughs> like that. Back to Ooh. cut. What a pass. What a score for Oklahoma. Raina Scott finishing. The give and go, make a play late in the game. We need a bucket, Raina. Go get us one. Splitting the defenders and a smooth move for London Clarkson. As she has 13 now. I really enjoy watching the way that she's able to use her strength and touch all within the same play. Skyler Van oh, goes up and around. Brunel in the paint. Clarkson going to work, taking it at Van. Can't draw the foul this time. 
is back on the court with those four fouls. So Coach Mox rolling the dice a little bit with a little over five minutes to play. Brown steps back. And a There's steal Parson and again. a turnover. Johnson one-on-one -on -one against Keyes. Kind of throws it up wildly, but there's Taylor to clean it up. It's a six-point ball game. Nice cut, nice pass. Yep. What a tough shot for Williams, a freshman. Coach Mox led that 4-0, uh, four and oh, had four wins to no losses against Drake. Can they come back in this game? They've shown a lot of discipline and a lot of heart here late in the game. You go inside, you find her. Immediately, Ward Taylor, I was going to say, who is comfortable from there. But that's and where then, Virginia has lived today. Extend it. Johnson goes back. And another missed three, but it's the offensive bounds. Virginia with 18 offensive rebounds in this game and 15 second chance points. Johnson, they just keep missing the three pointers. One for 22 from distance for the Cavaliers. And I have mixed feelings about the threes because ultimately they're leading to a lot of offensive putbacks for Virginia. And it's led to a lot of success for Oklahoma today, early and late. And the, the three ball is, it's just been too unlucky for you today. McGee off the screen, yeah. knocks that one down. Like 14 that. for Olivia McGee. Lexi Keys hit the three-pointer on the on this end of the court on the last possession for Oklahoma. They're 12 of 28 from three-point range. And they track down that offensive rebound. Keys again, no. Sarah Williams with the putback. And I got your offensive boards, too. We, we got some of our own. Now, to me, Brenda, I watch Oklahoma, and, and they're dribbling more and passing less. It's leading. To, uh, so Virginia making them put the ball on the floor has also been uh, effective for them. Williams dials uh -oh. up the three, and it's just been too much from beyond the arc. Plays offensive rebound. That'll create even more energy for your team. And then a cross-court pass, and she said, yeah, I'll take that three. And that's what I meant. They do not hesitate. Van wanted that ball. She had a great clear out. But Williams got, had a bigger lane. And now Williams is in double figures, and that puts five Sooners oh. in double figures. And Verhulst with... Just wanted to... Yeah, they weathered some adversity here. Virginia made it tough. The end of the third quarter and into the fourth. But Oklahoma was able to regain its composure... It's a high pass, high paced offense. And Virginia, the, the defensive elements are there. Uh, they'd be in this game, Brenda, if they were able to convert more fast break opportunities off these turnovers and hit some offensive rebounds. Okay, Euro, mm -hmm. give it to me, freshman. They still don't have Mira McLean waiting for her to come back. Well, Oklahoma comes away with the victory. It's the first non-conference loss in the Coach Mox era at Virginia.